Hi. Okay, this one is going to be all about eyelets and grommets. So, eyelets are like the easy ones that have the kind of like little see-through hole in them. Like this, you can install an eyelet and then have a key ring go through it and then it's easy enough. And then you also have these ones that have a top and then this little tiny one on the bottom to make it cleaner. So my favorite way of using the eyelets is the crocodile because it's super quick and easy. So I'm talking like 10 seconds. So you have your keychain or whatever you're using. This one has a guideline so you see how this one has where the hole needs to go. I use a leather puncher which is great because it's just quick, easy, and all you do is you line it up to the hole, you punch, and you magically have the hole where you want the eyelet to go. Then this one doesn't have a back so you want to make sure that your back looks nice and clean like you're not leaving any vi vinyl or anything that you actually just have like the hole. And then you are going to slide in the eyelet and as long as you push it through all the way and then like I said I'm going to kind of clean mine up because I have a couple little uh, strings pushing through which that's not pretty so we're going to take that away. So now what you have is you have the eyelet and then the back is a clean edge and it only has that poking through so there's no holder on the back. So once you take your crocodile, this little thing, it squishes down. I put the eyelet pretty side on it so it's like centered because then it doesn't move. Once it's in there, it's good. And then as long as you center it, you clip it down and you squeeze and then it squished the back of it for you and it's all fine and ready to go. The other alternative, and if you don't want to use the crocodile, is there's an actual like anvil and setter. Mine actually came with it in a handy dandy case, but when you buy it, usually like whenever I buy them the first time for hardware, I try to buy the set so I have the pieces. And then when you buy refills, you don't need to. So this one has an anvil and it's nice because it has this where it can actually just go on and you don't have to do anything, it's centered. And then you're gonna take the setter and the setter actually slips on and then you're gonna hammer this top part. Mine also came with, um, that's a lie. This one was the cutter, but it's, <laughs> it's the same thing. This is the setter. Setter goes down there, it's sturdier. And then this is just the cutter if you want instead of using the hole punch, but again, I really like my hole punch because I don't have to do any of the hard work. So I need it to be a little bit bigger and the only thing you do with that is you just turn around till you get the side that you want. Again, you are ready to poke a hole. So we poke, we center, we get out the junk. And then, because I'm on camera, it's not coming out easy. Okay, get out the junk, cut the extra string that we don't want. So then these ones I got, they actually are really cute and they come in a bunch of different colors kind of on the edging. And I just got them off Amazon. And they even came, look at how cute this actual kit is. They even came in like a kit and they're all organized. So what you do is you poke it through and then the difference between this one and the other eyelets with the crocodile is that this one, once you have the edge in like that, see how it's poking through, you have the teeny tiny piece that slides on the back. You can still do this with the crocodile if you want to, even though they're a little bit bigger, but I'm just going to show you how to do the anvil. So the anvil is first. This one you go down pretty side. You make sure it's on there and then you make sure your extra little ring is on top. And then you're gonna get your setter. And you slide that. This one's really nice too. It even comes with a hole so like there's no wiggle room to mess up. It will perfectly center it. 
and it even holds up on its own. And then all you do is you hammer it down. And like I said, for video's sake and not to have it be all crazy, I'm gonna do it in my lap. And then once it's all done, you have the back is nice because it's, it's way smoother. So see how the back of just the single eyelet has like that squished look? This one's way smoother. That's the back side and then that's the front side. That's all you need to do for the smaller ones. Now for the larger ones, these ones are um, a half inch. For the larger ones, I have to have the tool that it actually comes with. I don't have any other special like squishy crocodile shortcut or anything like that. Obviously that's your own prerogative. If you find something that works for you, then awesome. But for me, if you get the little case, and like I've said before, it's kind of like a sewing shortcut. They have these at uh, hardware stores because they're used for tarps and they're a lot cheaper than going to the actual craft store. And they're basically the same thing, except of course, if you want something more specialized, you know, with like iridescence or whatever. But for this, we're just gonna show you a quick one. So half inch grommet, obviously they're larger. This is the one that has the thicker edge. And then you have your shiny just ring that goes and you're gonna go on the top. It's all essentially, you're doing the exact same thing. It's just different sizes and different tools. So for this, I just got a scrap piece of vinyl to show you. You're gonna use this as the cutter and it comes with this nice little base of plastic in the thing. So then you do it, you bang on it, it cuts your vinyl because my actual, um, my leather hole punch obviously doesn't go to a half an inch. I'm sure you can get some cutters that go to a half an inch. More power to you, but mine does not. And then once you actually cut, then you are able to see the hole. And then, you know, I really need like, something harder than a book to actually hammer on because it just never works the right way with vinyl. I feel like this is where I'm the inexperienced YouTuber and my kids would be mortified that I'm actually trying to do YouTube videos and not do the instruction appropriately. They would not be impressed. Anyways. Okay. So, pretend that I didn't just cheat because I went on a harder surface. Okay, so, hole cutter, now you have the big hole. Then, all you're gonna do is you're gonna slip the pretty side, which is the one that is not the ring, the one that is more of the actual, um, the post, or like the one that has kind of like the nail, and you're gonna slide it through. Then you need to find just the plain cap, or like this is that like really thin ring, and you put it on the back. So once you have it on, you're gonna have it be pretty on the front and then just gonna have the cap on the back. And the cap is going to, um, you're gonna fit it on this anvil. This anvil has more of an actual holder for it, which is nice because then we don't have to actually um, have it slip around. Anyways, so anvil, down, pretty side, down, ring, on, and then this one has the setter, so it kind of spoons in like this, and then all you're going to do is the same thing we've done on all the other ones. You're just going to hit it down, and then you are locked and loaded, and then you have your larger grommet installed. So obviously you can do this in vinyl fabric, any kind of thing with like purses and whatnot, it works as well. So easy enough. Thank you.